Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad to be here today. Welcome to Stacy's Crafty Jam. And I, of course, am Stacy. And I am through with my magical tea party uh, design team project. Y'all have been along on the ride, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I've done a, a few videos showing how I've made this. Was going to do a video showing uh, some tags and ephemera. But, you know, life has just got in the way. So we just went straight to the flip through. Of course, I made the, the tags and ephemera, but I had to do that in between keeping grandkids. And, oh, well, you know, it's just life. It's the summer life in Texas, I'm telling you. Anyway, we're it, the matter at hand is our design team project for Line.Arrow using the gorgeous, wonderful, a magical tea party kit that's your fairies and your tea, teacups and and it's just adorable. And the colors are beautiful and gorgeous. The links for all of these papers are going to be in, in the description. And, um, you know, yeah, it, it's been fun. And it's been fun to do the challenges that have been going on. The stack teacups, the fairy house tags, um, at the page embellishments. All of those uh, challenges were fun. Happy anniversary to, to Natalie, to Line.Arrow. Three years on Etsy. Uh, you know, and here's to, you know, 30 more to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, this is my design team project. It is a, uh, accordion flip flop journal is what I'm calling it. I, I don't even know what to call it. it uh, I call it cute is what I call it. And she ended up about, I guess that's about two inches, two inches wide there. But we, we, I made this based on, um, uh, a video that I'd seen from the book vandal and uh, where she, she attached uh, the eight and a half by 11 papers together in a peak and Valley type thing where it, it it's an accordion fold. You're going to see when we open it. And I did that on the first video. And then the second video, I had some technical issues. I left it out there, but I think there's some technical issues on it. Part three is showing the, the page, uh, you know, how I'm decorating the pages and different things, but this is what I come up with on the first video. I did the closure on it. So I'm using this twill ribbon and, uh, love that this is the fairy, uh, tag, <laughs> but it's larger than a tag for sure. But this is the fairy tag that I made with my little washi tape hinge. But, uh, this is the very first thing I, I made with the kit and I decided to use it on my cover. And then I found this uh, jute, I don't even know, uh, ribbon trim that I had. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And it kind of works really good. And I put it on the top and the bottom. And then this is uh, glued on, but under it is the foam tape that, that helps raise it up. Because, because between this, this trim and this trim on the top and the bottom, um, yeah, there was some difference in, in, in depth. So I used the foam tape so so that it wouldn't do any sinking on me. Yeah, y'all see that? Sinking. Hey. No, anyway, it's a goober. I'm a goober. Anyway, she's cute. I love it. Used some a pretty cheesecloth and uh, all the butterflies. I did added some flowers. I really enjoyed making this. I did this on a live with Tabitha, made that. But anyway, let's get started. The back I didn't decorate because um, I liked that paper. And I sewed around it. Put it on a pink panel. Yeah, I, I love this. This is my favorite page of the of the kit, actually, with the teal and the pink and everything. And I left this. I let, I let it sing all on its own. But anyway, we'll, we'll see that again in a minute because it's a flip-flop. So we're going to open it. And the first thing we open up to is this pocket that I made. And I put some lace. And I, I fussy cut this little dancing fairy out of the um, uh, on the page. I printed it on cardstock and... and and cut that out and just layered it with some, with some, um, lace. This is a page from, um, from the kit. And, uh, I want to say it's the other half of this page whether that I fussy cut off of that. But anyway, I, it's, it's cardstock and I sewed around it and I made a pocket out of it. And then in that pocket, I put her pretty tags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three tags fit in there. These tags I didn't embellish. I just put the the hand dyed uh, seam binding on there, that crinkled seam binding, and I sewed around them. Uh, backed it with her pretty paper or cardstock on this one. Yeah, I like that. And then uh, this is this tag I actually embellished. 
uh, used her butterflies, some book page. I love all the little labels that she had in this kit. That's part of one of the freebies. Sewed on this. But yeah, backed it with um, some uh, pretty paper that she had. I see some string. Let me cut off my string. There, it's gone. But uh, yeah, uh, I love that tag. And uh, she fits down in here like so. And then I like that the um, seam binding kind of hangs out, hangs out the top there. And it, you know, it, it plays with the, with the cover too, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, there is the first little page. Second page, I made a pocket. Uh, lace trim, added some embellishment on it. I love, like I said, the labels. Put a put the little uh, book plate, butterfly book plate that she has in the kit. And then that little butterfly there. And then this is an actual pocket. And I put her uh, postcard that I sewed on. And I backed it on some um, uh, cardstock. And then, then in this pocket, or the rest of the pocket, we have her ephemera. And she's got these uh, postcard label. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they are, but they're, they're like journal cards. Yeah. And I just backed them on pretty paper, sewed around everything. Yeah. I, I like, and this was just a really big, deep pocket. So it gave me the opportunity to put lots of good stuff in there. Yeah. I like that pretty good. So that's page one and two of this, this little flippy flop thing. And then this page, I, I, I wanted to put some writing space in this journal. So I, I used some antique uh, vintage ledger paper that I got at my craft retreat. And then I, I put her teapot page uh, behind it with some lace. Yeah. And then this page, I made this little cute, I don't know, kind of cool um, uh, corrugated paper pocket that I painted on. And then this tag is part of her paper. And I just made a tag. That is a pocket. So that's a pocket here. And I put some ephemera in it that came from the kit that I either sewed on or backed or whatever. So that goes in there. And then this one has, this is a pocket too. And uh, this is one of the tags from her kit, but I just embellished it, added a little topper. Again, those labels, I had a good time with the labels. Yeah, I liked, I like, I like the labels a lot. And then that fits very snugly down in here. But then you see how the topper kind of hangs off. I like that. I like the way that's looking, you know, here at, you know, dancing off, get dancing off the top. So then we turn the page and this is the stack teacup element that I made. And I, I did that on, on, with a guest check and stacked the teacups. And I just, I just kept sticking stuff on for sure, for sure. And then used the, um, the labels. I like that little tea a teaspoon and my little ticket seam binding. Yeah. That this one turned out nice. I was going to make it. I, I did make it a pocket. Oh, it is a pocket. I need to put something in there. Okay. I missed that. And then this is a pocket. See if I had to put that thumb notch in there, I wouldn't have known. Um, th I made, this is part of her. This is her stack tea cups that I just fussy cut around and I put them on this pocket. And in this pocket, I have some ephemera from her kit, the postcard that I sewed on, and then the teacup. I, I just, this is an actual big page, but I, I shrunk it and, and made a, made a card out of it. Yeah. Backed it on her pretty paper. And, uh, and that's what goes in this pocket. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is the journal in space. I wanted to leave some area to journal in. I love my little, uh, avocado dye, uh, paper that I got from Zoe. This is some uh, coffee dye paper that I got from my sister. And then this is the page embellishment page. And it's it's got the little fan, uh, the little peacock fan things. Can't see the peacocks. I covered them all up. But <laughs> anyway, there's a pocket here that has the ephemera. And then there's a pocket. I put this piece. I love this ephemera. This came from the kit. I just sewed on it. And then that goes in there. And then in here is a tag that I embellished. This is one of her tags. And I just embellished it with her pretty stuff. Yeah. Backed it with her pretty paper. And then that goes in there. And then see again how that this, all I had all the, the little, the little toppers coming out the top there. And then that's the end of the first side. And then we, we close it. And then there's that back that I just showed you. And then look, check this out. And then this is the flop part. That was the flip. This is the flop. Uh, this is the, we made this on a, um, 
on a video. Uh, this is actually a, like a coin envelope. And I made two pockets out of it. I put the, the front of the, of the coin envelope here. And then the back of the coin envelope is here. And then I just put her pretty tags on it that I just sewed on. Backed them with the pretty paper or cardstock, that is. And that one goes there. And I like the seam binding coming off the top there. And then this one goes here. And I like the seam binding coming out the side there. I like, I like all that dancing out there. And then this is some more of that paper that I got from Zoe. More journal in space. And I just made a little cluster up here at the top. And then I did washi tape. We did this on a, on the video, I think a part three. We did that one and that one on, on the part three. We sure did. Anyway, Joey made this uh, this paper for me. She had gave me green avocado dye and coffee dye. I had a good time playing with all that paper. And then this is uh, more like journaling space here. Uh, part of her paper that I just sewed on. Did a little cluster of sorts down here. Yeah, put the lace trim on the side there. And then this is uh, a, the pocket from her kit but I just sewed on it and I just layered her paper that I sewed. And uh, this is just a, like a dictionary book page, put some, uh, some lace trim down there. This is a tag that uh, from her kit that I just embellished uh, with a little fairy house. And, uh, and then the word fairy, <laughs> like I said, I had a good time with those labels. Yep. I love this kit, all the pretty colors. And then again, the little topping. I like the toppers to dance off the, off the top or the side there. This is a belly band that we made on the video three. And uh, what's in here? I've got tags and, and ephemera. But I made this. This is one of her, uh, I guess it's a, it's a long journal card or uh, a tag. I made it like into a tag journal card. But I put a uh, an eyelet there and kind of uh, did that off to the side. I love my seam binding on that. Love this image in her kit. I don't even know what that is. I don't know. It's some mystical little bird thing. It's a green ostrich. Yeah. Haven't y'all seen one of those before? Huh? No. Anyway, here is the postcard from her kit. And I just sewed on it, put pretty paper on the back of it. Yeah. I like, I like this. And we made this belly band together on a, on a, on the part three. And that just goes in there. And I like how the topper hangs off the side there a little bit. And then here's some journaling spot with the pretty paper, uh, the, the teacup paper that she gave. I think that was a freebie. Uh, that she did. And then I did a pocket down here with some pretty paper um, myself and then did a little cluster. Loved this cluster with her little postage stamps. And, and she had lots of great ephemera. Then I stacked some teacups on this teapot. I mean, this tag, <laughs> it's not a teapot, uh, but it's a tag with teapots. And so I stacked some teacups on there, put a little label on there, backed it with that pretty coffee dye that she had in the kit topped it with a with a ruffle that I made yeah and then here is the last page of of this little flippy flop this is a this is the last page of the flop and then this is more of that paper I got from Zoe and the the pocket that I sewed on and then I love this tag I just I, I put some little fringy at the at the topper there and the butterflies and the I just I had a good time I had a really good time see how pretty that coffee dye paper is from this kit but I had a really good time playing with all these papers, all this. Uh, and then check this out. We're back to the front. Look, if this is the flip. Then we're flipping. We're flipping. Now we're fixing a flop, guys. Look, we're going to flop. Oh, I got to get the, the thing out. That's a flop. Oh, my gosh. This is fun. It's fun. And then look, we're back to where we started. Ah, this is fun. Oh, my gosh. I had a good time making this. I really did. I've never made a flip-flop journal before. And I don't even know if this is the official term of what I'm doing, but it's, it's what I labeled it. And it's on YouTube now is, as that. So I better stick with what I did. <laughs> but anyway, this is my design team project for June. I've been working on it all month and uh, yeah, I thank you, Natalie, for letting me play with your papers. I hope that you guys like this. I hope that you're inspired by it. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Uh, should I call it something else? I mean, I don't know. It's a little different. It's a little late now. I already called it that. But it is, and I love the way everything dances off the side and the tops. I, I really love this little project. Yeah, it was fun. Thank you for letting me work with your papers, Natalie. I look forward to what we're going to do in July. We have big things coming in July. Yes, yes, yes. Big things are happening on Stacy's Crafty Jam. Y'all stay tuned. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Give it a like. 
And if you're new to Stacy's Crafty Jam, please subscribe. I am working hard going towards my 2000 goal. I have a little ways to get there, <laughs> 900 or so. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's try to get there together. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on this video and for every video. I so appreciate y'all. I will see you in the next one, the next video. Bye, guys.